Check out these new kicks. I'm excited. They're the Giannis's. Might get MVP this year. That'd be pretty cool. You know, I was thinking about uh, being OG and thinking about my, my good old days when I was a young man. And when I graduated high school, you might not realize this, but I could actually dunk a basketball. Of course, it was a mini ball, but I could still dunk. And that was OG AJ. Today we're talking about OG, but we're talking about uh, the Apostle Paul. And we don't mean original gangsta, we mean original gospel. So I want to know, are you OG? And I think you want to know if I can still dunk a basketball. Let's find out. It's going to be tricky. What you thinking? Vote on it. If I dunk it, you got to like my video. Let's find out. Here we go. Oh! Heck yeah, baby. That's it. And just like this, you only got one shot. Jesus is your only shot. your surroundings then you gotta change your decor staying hungry like a carnivore we don't go to sleep we just go to war man y'all get it yeah we did it so our world has a lot of crazy things going on um there's stuff that's happening in our culture all the time and it you know it's just crazy i think you might not realize it but your life is kind of crazy too and that's the point of what i'm talking about today you know you hear it said that you've only got one shot and you got to make it count and it's true it's true our world needs Jesus he is the solution our world is broken our lives are probably more broken than we want to admit and the Bible teaches us this story about how we are separated from God how it all started in the beginning and how badly we are in need of him here's the thing though God took the shot and God swished it. That's what he's got in store for you when you believe in him. The Apostle Paul says to the Ephesian church, therefore remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth and called the uncircumcision, remember at that time you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenants of promise without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ brings us near. And I don't know if you realize the severity of our situation. Apart from the person of Jesus, we are separated from God's promises and we are without hope in the world. We need God and we need him desperately. Hey, Jake. Yeah? Want we'll to play some ball, man? Let's go. Look at this dude rocking his LeBron James Lakers jersey. Oh, yeah. So you might be thinking to yourself, why and how do I know that I only got one shot? What, is it, what does it mean that I only got one shot at life? And how do I know that Jesus is the only way to make it? Well, I know this, that you have one big problem. You may not completely understand what I'm talking about, but uh, several years ago, when I was a young person, I came to know Christ for the first time, and it changed my life when I read the Bible. The words of the page just seemed to uh, leap up and leap into my heart and create transformation. It was a big deal. It helped me to see that I have things in my life that I need to change. I, there's there's, uh, there's a space in my heart for God. I need Him. And I think you have that same need in your life. In fact, I believe that everybody does. The Bible teaches us this story that we truly are without hope when we are without Jesus. It talks about sin and, and the fall and suffering and death and how all the things that we don't like about this world, the dysfunctional relationships that we have, broken marriages, 
All of that stuff came in because of the sin and death that came in with our first parents all the way back in the garden. That's your big problem and that's why you've only got one shot. You gotta make it count and you gotta put it in the right place. know that this is the only way well I think when you look at your own life and our culture that it will show you you have need that you have need of something beyond yourself I mean I I hate to break it to you but you know your life to a certain degree just like everybody else's is it's at least a little dysfunctional and on top of that you're gonna die one day you need to know God and so Jesus fills that gap he stands in it he offers you true salvation that you really and desperately need. And on top of it, there's just nothing like an authentic Jesus experience. That was one of the things that captivated me when I was a young man. I remember reading the Bible for the first time, and uh, Jesus talked about this thing called eternal life. Uh, you know, I thought at the time, I was only, you know, 16, 17 years old, that it just meant living forever. So naturally I thought, oh, it's cool. Jesus is like a real life fountain of youth. And yes, he is, because truly, if you know Christ, you will be raised like he was raised. You will never die. And even though you die, you will live again. Uh, however, it doesn't just mean that. Eternal life isn't just living forever. Eternal life is actually knowing him in the first place and having this thing called a Jesus experience. It, it happens when you're born again. It happens when God changes your spirit. He changes you on the inside so that you have a real and vibrant relationship with the living God. So look, I know that you're just like me and I know that sometimes you have a tendency to overthink things, but I don't want you to do that. The truth of the matter is you need Jesus and he really is your only shot. He's your only hope. That's what Paul said. That's the picture that the Bible paints for us. And no offense, but our world needs a little bit of help today. It needs God. And I think you do too. Open the door, let me tell you what it's in for. Here's my favorite places to go during the summer. And I got all my weapons in here. And a shield. So what kind of weapons do you have in there? Um, like swords, I got a spear, and a bow and arrow that my grandpa gave me. It's pretty sweet. A bow and arrow. And your grandpa passed away too, huh? Yeah. It's pretty cool, bro. You're savage. You're savage. I'm sure you don't overthink things, huh? It looks like you're ready for whatever is going to come your way. I know like when I was a young person and I thought about coming to know Jesus, that was one of the things that was sort of attractive to me is I thought whatever comes my way in life, I know that I've got God on my side and life is just so much easier to live when you've got a hiding place, when you've got a fort that you can go back to. And life's just real simple, I think, you know, you don't want to overthink it. And you don't seem like the kind of guy who generally overthinks stuff, right? Cool. Give me a fist bump. All right, still don't believe you only got one shot to make it count? Check this out. The Bible says it is appointed to man once to die and then the judgment. Yeah, we all have to face our righteous judge, the one that created us. God made us for a reason and for a purpose and he calls on you to fulfill that purpose as a good steward of his creation and of your life. Are you living the purpose that God wants you to live today. Don't look to your neighbor right now or you know, think what uh, is on the inside of my mind in regard to your life. I want you to actually do some self-reflection and say, how am I living? Am I living the kind of lifestyle that God wants me to live? Do I have that quality of life that a true, authentic Jesus experience will give me? I'm telling you, as somebody who has experienced it firsthand, there is nothing in the world 
like it and you only got one shot, one life to experience it. Now at the end of days, Jesus, just like he was raised from the dead, he's gonna raise us all, he's gonna bring us all back to life. And those of us who know him are gonna live with him forever in resurrected bodies and a new, renewed creation. It's gonna be pretty cool. I don't want you to miss out on that. And so search your heart and say, where am I at with God right now? Where are you? God sees the things that you do in private, all of them. And the crazy thing is, he still loves you. The Bible also says that God didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So even though you don't live a perfect life and I don't, God has made the way through the death of his son for us to know him. And I want you to know him today. All you have to do, all you have to do is take that shot. It's right now. Now is your time. That's what the Bible says. It says, today is the day of salvation. Now is the time of God's favor for you. It's right now. Maybe you're just sitting in your living room or listening in your car. But right now is the time where you can come to know Jesus. All you have to do is call out. Call on the name of the Lord and you will be saved. Say these words with me right now. Heavenly Father, I realize that I'm not perfect. I realize that I make mistakes. And as I've just done some reflection, I know that I need you. I'm asking you, God, to come into my life. Jesus, I'm asking you to forgive my sins. I believe that you died for me and that you rose again on the third day. Today you are seated at the right hand of God in all power and, and you have the privilege of forgiveness. Jesus, give me your forgiveness today. Make me new on the inside and welcome me into your family. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are part of God's family. You took your shot and you swished it. Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. Check this out. You probably didn't realize that your dad can dunk like your boy, LeBron. LeBron, LeBron. Check this out. What you think now? What? Let me put this hoop up all the way. Pack of wolves and we got it. Now that's OG! How did you do that? Unbelievable! That is OG. Original gangsta. Hey, don't forget to like this page. I hope you enjoyed this video. We drop a new one every single Saturday. So make sure you check it out and subscribe. God bless, and don't forget, the gospel gains you everything. Cause some bank accounts, yeah, they offshore. You ain't down with your surroundings. Last week it was Kane's chicken. This week, the almighty cow chicken. Mm. That's good.